All right, I am done with the knit stitching on my washcloth, my dishcloth, excuse me. I can tell that it's just about square. I fold it diagonally to see that it's eh, close enough to a square for what I'm looking for. So now it's time to cast off or bind off. That's gonna give us a nice edge along here, just like we have when we cast it on, kind of seal it up. So how you're gonna do that is take your right needle and knit stitch two, just a regular knit stitch like we've been doing all along. There's one and two. Okay, now I've got two knit stitches on my right needle. Now, I'm gonna take this left needle, come over here and scoop up this first stitch. And I'm gonna take it to the end of the needle and carefully pull it over that outer stitch and then pull it off. Now I have just one stitch over here, so I need to do one more knit stitch. I need to have two on my right needle. Now I've got two on here again, so I can take the bottom one and pull it over the other one and off. It feels a little bit awkward and like it might come off the end, so you can see I'm kind of using as many fingers as I can to keep it all together. But as with everything, it'll become easier as we do it more. Okay, I've only got one stitch over here, so I need to do one more knit stitch to get another one on my right needle. I've got two on my right needle now, so I can take my left needle, pick up the bottom one, and pull it right over the top one. Okay, and you can see here how we're starting to get that nice pattern from casting off. So just keep doing that. Get it so you have two knit stitches on your right needle. Use your left needle to get under the bottom one. Pull it over the top one and off the needle. Then you need to pick up another knit stitch. Keep doing that. Oops, and you can see I lost that, so I'm just going to pick it back up here. Got to be careful you don't drop them. And off. And this pattern's going to keep going all along the edge. So keep doing that until you have all of these cast off over here. Okay, I've got one stitch left on my left needle. So I'm going to go ahead and knit stitch that onto my right, just like we've been doing all along with this binding off. And now I don't have any left on my left. Here on my right I've got two, just like we've been doing. I am going to catch this lower one, pull it up and over the top stitch. And now I have one stitch left on my needle. What you're gonna do now is take your scissors and cut the tail Oh, I'm cutting about maybe four inches. Go ahead and snip it. And now use your needle to just pull that tail through. And now you can see here mine looks a little funky because I stretched it out and made a mistake before I made this video. So don't worry about that. Yours will probably look better and just have this tail hanging off the end. Now what you're gonna do is take a needle. I'm using a plastic canvassing needle. If you don't have a big needle with a big eye like this, you can even, I've heard of people using um, hairpins or a paper clip, just something that's gonna let you be able to thread this tail through the binding off stitches we just made. So I'm gonna go ahead and thread my needle. And I always make sure I hold the tail of yarn or string or whatever between my fingers so it doesn't come out. Go ahead and take your needle and go under one of the loops of our binding off stitches and pull through. Go to the next one and pull, oops, that got caught on there. Pull through over here, pull through into the next loop, pull through. And then just keep going until your tail is all the way tucked. 
into your binding off row. And then you will be all set with your very first dishcloth and ready to celebrate. Awesome job.